Excellency Prime Minister Theresa May, members of the media, friends, Excellency, I am honored to welcome you to India. We deeply appreciate that you have chosen India for your first bilateral visit outside Europe. Last week was a period of great festivities in India. You also celebrated Diwali with much fanfare in London. Your visit today gives us reasons to celebrate the vibrant and strong India-UK partnership. Friends, India-UK ties are truly special. It is an enduring partnership which is nurtured by our shared values, extensive people-to-people -people linkages. Let's not forget cricket here. <laughs> Widespread economic engagement for the prosperity of our societies, common efforts aim at the security of our people, and a common vision for a peaceful and prosperous world. Our strategic partnership is geared towards meeting the existing new and emerging challenges of the 21st century and contributing to the larger regional and global good. Friends, in my extensive discussion with Prime Minister May, today we look at the full range of our partnership. The spread and depth of our engagement has indeed been impressive. We also agreed to add new dimensions and initiative to broaden the scope of our linkages. Earlier this morning, Prime May and I jointly inaugurated the India-UK Tax Summit. It marked a fitting celebration of 2016 as the India-UK Year of Education, Innovation and Research. Science and technology is a vibrant and fast-growing space in our partnership. It is an area of tremendous potential and promise. It allows for the convergence of novel ideas, new research, and next-generation technologies, and brings the benefits of science and technology collaboration to the lives of common people, not just in India and the UK, but in the entire world. At the summit, new bilateral initiatives on clean energy, and energy efficient building materials were announced. This would be critical for development of smart cities and to our quest for innovative solution to tackle challenges of climate change and sustainability. Friends, growing business partnerships and expanding trade and capital flows between our two economies are crucial to our economic partnership. Indian companies have been successfully raising finance from the city of London. We are encouraged by the London Stock Exchange presently hosting several rupee demonstrated masala bonds. It reflects the strong investor confidence in the fast-growing Indian economy. A meeting of the India-UK CEOs Forum held earlier today and their valuable recommendations would help us deepen business-to-business -business ties. The meeting of the India-UK Joint Economic and Trade Committee later this afternoon will take forward the business agenda. We have also agreed to establish a joint working group on trade 
we believe that such a group should not only focus on ways to increase trade in goods but also on the expansion of services trade including through greater mobility of skilled professionals friends i also discuss defense and security partnership with prime minister may i encourage british companies to look at the multiple opportunities in the indian defense sector looking beyond trade in defense equipment i invite them to build partnerships with indian enterprise that focus on manufacturing technology transfer and co development security of the cyberspace especially involving our critical infrastructure is an area of shared interest i welcome our growing cooperation in this field i also discussed with prime minister may ways to purposefully work together to combat the growing forces of radicalization and terrorism we agreed that it is not a limited security challenge its arc of threat spread across nations and regions terrorist moves across borders with ease and endanger the entire humanity i conveyed our deep concerns to prime minister may regarding cross border terrorism and the need for the international community to take strong action against states that support and sponsor terrorism friends india uk global partnership is expanding there is growing convergence of our views on leading global issues i thank prime minister may for uk's consistent support for india's membership of the un security council and nuclear supplier groups we also agreed on the need for early adoption of the comprehensive convention on international terrorism excellency our multifaceted relationship is indeed unique your visit to india and the outcome of our discussions today would add new dimensions and substance that would further strengthen india uk partnership i also take this opportunity to convey my best wishes to the english cricket team who will begin their campaign in rajkot gujarat day after tomorrow may the best team win <laughs> excellency let me once again extend a very warm welcome to you and your delegation to india thank you thank you very much